Hey everyone, it's Andy from MAO Magic, and I am here with the HomeKit automation app, uh, simply called Home, and it's available in the App Store, but I've also put a link in the description below. This is a great way to manage all of your HomeKit accessories, use them all together with each other, creating scenes and triggers and rooms and everything else you could possibly need to do. This will work with the August, the Philips Hue lights, the Kobe thermosets, everything like that. We can see a few of the different features here, such as working with the HomeKit accessories. It is designed for the iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. It has that Apple Watch app and an iPad app. You can do all these complex triggers, which we're going to look at, and you can see where all of your accessories are at all in one simple glance, as well as even some controls for the notification center. While we are not going to look at the Apple Watch app today, there is an Apple Watch. You can see basically where everything is and make some changes to all of your accessories, but we're really going to focus on setting everything up here today using this home automation app. So we first downloaded our application uh, from the App Store, and you can see there are different numbers of homes, so I just have one home in here, even though you can have multiple. You'll see all the devices in your home, so this is the extensive list of all the different devices, thermostats, locks, everything that I have. Three of the rooms in my building uh, have the home kit accessories. So I have a living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom that all have home kit devices. You can then take those rooms and group those rooms into different zones. So you could have maybe an upstairs that would include multiple bedrooms and a hallway, as well as a downstairs that would include like a living room, dining room, and a kitchen. Or in my case, I have a main room, which would encompass both the living room and the dining room in my apartment. So aside from zones, we can also set up scenes. So we have rooms, we have zones that encompass multiple rooms. And then we have scenes that can contain any uh, assortment of all your different devices. So for instance, I have movie time here, which will turn off several lights in the living room and then turn down the ones on the kitchen because the kitchen are kind of overlooking, overlooking the living room. I want them still on, but I want them very low. So they're like one or 2%. You can maybe have a scene for bedtime that'll turn off everything, but maybe leave the hallways lit up uh, so you can see in the night. There's also one for good night, which is one that Apple kind of featured. You can say good night Siri, and it'll simply turn everything off, lock your doors, adjust your thermostat, close your blinds, and close your garage door, assuming all of them are HomeKit enabled. You could also do hi house. So when I get home, I can just say hi house, and it'll turn all of my lights on in the living room and the kitchen. So I'm greeted and I don't have to fumble for switches or turn them all on individually. You can choose the power state. You can choose the brightness of those lights, the saturation, as well as the color. Now, all this depends, of course, on the different HomeKit accessory that you're enabling. So here we're just configuring some lights, but you can also throw in a thermostat and unlock the door. So I can say, hi house, it'll unlock the door, it'll turn the lights on, and we'll adjust the thermostat to whatever degree you would like it to be. We also have triggers, which are very fancy and get very complicated. So what I want is a trigger that will turn on my lights to the sunset scene when I am coming home after work. So there's a lot of different things I'm going to need to set up here. So first, we're just going to go ahead and give it a name, uh, something very vague and not at all uh, informative. So lights, we're just going to call it lights in this case. We can choose a scene, and these were all set up uh, either in this app or in the Philips Hue app that this kind of pulled in the information from. So we're going to choose where I'm going to be leaving from. So say I work in North Carolina. I wanted to know when I leave work that that's going to be part of the condition for the scene. You can put a little pin drop where your office would be in this case, and you can choose the uh, size of that perimeter for that geofence. So first thing here is the event is I'm going to leave that location. The second one it is it has to be after sundown because I don't want it to be doing this after uh, you know during the day. I want it if it's after sundown and I'm leaving the office. I want to come home to a nice pretty sunset inside of my apartment. So we're going to go ahead and add a characteristic then. Because if the lights are already on, it means someone could be home. So say my girlfriend is home, I don't want to just change the scene on her. So if my lights are off, which means no one should be home, then do this scene after sunset when I leave work. Then you simply hit enable trigger and this will turn it on. You can enable or disable any of the triggers in here. So you can have multiple of them set up and then just enable or disable the ones that you would like to use. So as you can see, most everything we've done here has done with the Hue lights. So this is mostly just anything you want to do with the Hue lights we can do with this application. However, this is not just for the Hue lights. Obviously, this is for thermostats and locks and switches, pretty much anything that you have using HomeKit. Now, not only can you everything be done with HomeKit, but that's what enables it to work with Siri. So I can say, good night, Siri, and good night coming right up, and it will simply turn off all of my lights, lock my doors, and turn down my thermostat. 
you can say turn all of my lights on and it'll just turn on all of the ones that are lights and turn them on and it'll know which ones those are or we can enable a scene simply say can you set movie time and it'll turn on movie time by dimming all of my lights and turning off those in the living room. So as we do with all product reviews here, we're gonna go ahead and break down between the pros and cons. So for this application, the Pros Movie has a ton of features. This is basically the application that Apple seemingly should have built in to enable HomeKit in the first place. It is very easy to use, it breaks everything down for you. Uh, triggers are exceptionally important. They're very cool, they can tie a lot of different things together, and basically this is the real automation part of HomeKit and it has an Apple Watch app. On the con side, is it, it is a little bit expensive. At $15 for an application, a lot of people may be put off, but I promise you it is very worth it. And it only works with HomeKit accessories. So anything that works on like the smart things or Zigbee or anything that just does not use HomeKit, this cannot interface with. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. If you are interested, the link is in the description below. Make sure you subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you next time.